It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. You want to live, but do you even know how to live? You are scared of dying, and tell me, is the kind of life you lead really any different from being dead? You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. The art of living well and the art of dying well are one. Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now, take what's left and live it properly. What doesn't transmit light creates its own darkness. Let us prepare our minds as if we'd come to the very end of life. Let us postpone nothing. Let us balance life's books each day. The one who puts the finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. Death. Something like birth. A natural mystery. Elements that spill and recombine. Not an embarrassing thing. Not an offense to reason or our nature. No evil is honorable. But death is honorable. Therefore, death is not evil. Don't behave as if you were destined to live forever. What's fated hangs over you. As long you live and while you can, become good now. Let each thing you would do, say, or intend, be like that of a dying person. You act like mortals in all that you fear and like immortals in all that you desire. What is death? A scary mask. Take it off. See, it doesn't bite. Eventually, body and soul will have to separate, just as they existed separately before we were born. So why be upset if it happens now? If it isn't now, it's later. Death is that sure for that which is born. A birth is for that which is dead. Therefore, grieve not for what is inevitable. You live as if you were destined to live forever. No thought of your frailty ever enters your head. Of how much time has already gone by, you take no heed. You squander time as if you drew from a full and abundant supply. Though all the while that day which you bestow on some person or thing, is perhaps your last. Before I became old, I tried to live well. Now that I'm old, I shall try to die well. But dying well means dying gladly. We should not, like sheep, follow the herd of creatures in front of us, making our way where others go, not where we ought to go. Death has no degrees of greater or less, for it has the same limit in all instances, the finishing of life. Death is not an evil. What is it then? The one law mankind has that is free of all discrimination. But death and life, honor and dishonor, pain and pleasure, all these things equally happen to good men and bad, being things which make us neither better nor worse. Therefore, they are neither good nor evil. Death, the most awful of evils, is nothing to us. Seeing that, when we are, death is not come. And, when death is to come, we are not. The fear of death follows from the fear of life. A man who lives fully is prepared to die at any time. He who indulges in empty fears, earns himself real fears. Life is never incomplete if it is an honorable one. At whatever point you leave life, if you leave it in the right way, it is whole. Don't seek for everything to happen as you wish it would, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will. Then your life will flow well. Do not act as if you had 10,000 years to throw away. Death stands at your elbow. 
be good for something while you live, and it is in your power. Perfection of character is this, to live each day as if it were your last, without frenzy, without apathy, without pretense. Everything's destiny is to change, to be transformed, to perish, so that new things can be born. Given that all must die, it is better to die with distinction than to live long. From my rotting body, flowers shall grow, and I am in them, and that is eternity. The hour of departure has arrived, and we go our separate ways, I to die, and you to live. Which of these two is better? Only God knows. You boarded, you set sail, and you've made the passage. Time to disembark.